everybody. Excuse the messy jumper. Um, sorry I've been kind of absent for the last while. Um, just been under pressure trying to get sewing finished up. Um, so we have all of our combined little props in. There's just a bit of reseeding and a bit of uh, a hole prop left to go. Um, so we're, we're doing well. Um, sprayer. Uh, I'm heading to uh, land the other side of Destinant to spread our compound on it. It should have went out for sewing, which with everything going on, it didn't happen. So there's 15 tons coming up here. So I have three and a bit, 3.2 tons in the hopper, and there's a trailer and an auger system we made up following me to uh, with about 12 tons in it. Um, we have, uh, yeah, it's just, it, it, we're hoping that the auger system will work, and if it will, we'll perfect it. It's a bit MacGyverish right now, and uh, because of the, uh, well, we weren't sure if it was going to work, so I spent a lot of money on it. So if it works well, we'll uh, streamline it, we'll shorten the ram, make up a better uh, hopper for under the trailer, and then mount it to the back of the trailer, which at the moment the bullet system is in the trailer for fertilizer. So, that's what we're at today. Um, my father's off spraying, he's putting team one on barley, he's putting herbicide on oats, and he has some ducks and thistles to spray for a uh, customer. Um, then there is a, a driver at Slurry, and a driver just harrowing, and then my younger brother is brake rolling. So that's the story for today. Um, not too exciting, not too dramatic. Um, we thought I'm getting the field. I'm going to have to first load out and when I get back up, hopefully the trailer will be there. Uh, I have the MX135 and he has the 3645. So obviously, um, we'd like to both the same horsepower. So, if I'm not carrying a lot less, I can go a lot faster. So I have get there before he will and he'll meet us there. So, um, we'll talk in the field when we're spreading. First lap of the field here. Um, uh, it's kind of a, an uneven field. It's the first of four. Um, so uh, we started the first way you want first, so that if uh, or, you know, so that I'm not. Sorry. Basically, is that if I, I spread my five load and I'm short, you know, 200 kilos, 200 kilos in the trailer, and um, so I don't have to drive 200 kilos the whole way down here. It's up in the trailer, up at the gate, up in the first field. I uh, just load it back up and I finish spraying the first field, or spreading, not spraying, the first field. So, that's the story. So we're back at the gate there now, and we're heading back across to the furthest point because I started at that headland because it was a straighter one, and then we work way down. And somebody asked me just to uh, go through the um, section control and spreader. I won't do it in this field, but I'll try and do it in the next field. So stay in touch.
at this stage, <coughs> you'll have seen myself and one of the lads setting it up. Um, it worked fairly well. Now it, it, it took 15 minutes to put just under three ton into it, but I can't complain too much. Like it, it's done well, um, so it means that the system works. Um, we'll probably be able to streamline it a bit because I'm not pushing it too hard today and when I get used to it I'll be able to put more oil going through it and as a result it'll uh, go faster and more will come through it. So we'll probably end up coming up with a mount and we'll probably come up with a way to mount it to the tailboard so that we can just have one tailboard for this and one tailboard for grain on the trail. Um, we're using a small orange trailer because we're not going to be pulling much with it anyway. Um, like we could bring one of the big smiths but like you can pull an outrageous amount of stuff with you so that's the plan anyway we're back down here spreading there's a, there's a 22 acre field so we have the we have started we're going out with the second load here now and uh, then we'll make our way back and you might be able to see i'm not going to bother shutting the hopper it's a gorgeous day i lost the jumper and um, going good talk soon Okay, so just for the last part of this video, somebody asked me just to explain how the uh, section control on the sprayer works. Or not the sprayer, the fertilizer spreader. So, to best explain it, we need on the GPS, or on the GPS screen. So you see here, first thing we do is we put in our boundary. So we're driving around here now. It is a, a funny shaped field, which is why I picked it. Um, and it'll allow you to see the sections working best together. See here, these are my eight sections. I don't know if you can just see that bit there. So now, once I get back and where I'm going, I just press this. Oh. Okay, usually it uh, just. Oh, jeez. Usually it's uh, so sorry, you can see here where this is turned uh, off. So now, I'm just going to pick a straight line down because my pre-emergence markers were turned off. So we're just going to go straight down like this. And you're going to watch each of the sections turn on. And they'll do the same as we get to the bottom. So I know it's unorthodox, but anyway. So we're just on a straight line down across the field. So now then you can just watch as I come across my headland, each section turns off. See, it turns all, all of them off. See, it thinks I missed a bit off the headland there. And, I, and then as I re-enter this bit, it's gonna turn on the representative sections. But you see here where I'm overlapping, it's not turning on these additional sections. And as I move out, or the thing gets wider, extra sections will turn on and off. So you see there, oh, sorry. So now I want to keep right a small bit. I want to keep left a small bit. Now then. As I uh, drive up across here, it's getting wider, and I'm after missing a small bit, but it'll be okay. So 
now, you see all my sections are turned back on again. So we'll just do it here. And you can see here, as we come across the headland, these sections are shutting themselves down until they're off. Now I need back to this. the basics of the um, section control is you put in your boundary and usually I put in a, sorry you, you do your headland lap I mean and usually I put in a boundary but just for some reason today it's not working um, and then just basically the machine will only allow you to spread within that boundary and it'll only spread it once now if you have more sections there's only eight sections on this spreader just the way it worked out um, but if you had more sections on it, you wouldn't overlap as much, but we are overlapping nearly nothing. So I wouldn't be too worried about it. See just that little small bit there. So you see here, it's shutting off because I'm overlapping too much. So my line up was a little bit off. I haven't quite there now. Let's shut off. Now I'm drawn. I took a bad line there, but it's a great example of how it works. So it hasn't come to the edge of it yet, so it's still on. And shut the whole thing off there now. Okay. I'm going to pay attention to where I'm driving. stay around this little bit of a wet spot here and then we'll tuck back in tighter you see I'm missing a small bit there just tuck back in tighter and now we're good